I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric functions. We'll sketch the graph of two trigonometric functions and figure out the number of solutions. The question here is, on the same grid, sketch the graph of y equals to sin x and y equals to cos 2x plus 1. State the number of roots for sin x minus cos 2x minus 1 equals to 0 when x is between 0 to 360 degrees. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin by graphing the function y equals to sin x, right? So that is a basic function within the domain 0 to 360 degrees. The other one is y equals to cos 2x plus 1. That means translate it up, and we'll have two cosine waves within 0 to 360, right? Since we are moving upwards, I'll take the horizontal x-axis slightly lower, right? Okay. Now, the sin x function basically can be sketched by dividing the time interval into four equal groups. These are four quadrants, right? So these are the four quadrants which I'm showing here. Okay, so we will make a rough sketch, but very meaningful. Now, as you know, the sine function basically has a maximum of 1 and minimum of minus 1. So, it oscillates between plus and minus 1. The graph starts with 0, right? Goes up to 1, comes back to 0, minus 1, and 0. So, you can sketch sine function very easily like this. So the graph in green is sin x for me. Is that clear? And the values, let's write down. Here we have 1. This is minus 1. This is 0, of course. And then that is 360 degrees. Half is 180 degrees, 90 degrees, 270 degrees. Perfect. Now let us see how to sketch the second graph, which is y equals to cos of 2x plus 1. Well, plus 1 means translate by 1 unit up. So the x is now for cos 2x will be somewhere here, right? Okay, so that is the axis. Now cos 2x means what? It really means that there will be two cosine functions within this interval of 0 to 360. Amplitude is 1. So that means the maximum will be somewhere here, right? And the minimum will be along the x-axis. Now, we will have one wave within time period of 180. Now, to sketch this wave, I should divide this also into four equal parts, signifying the quadrants, right? Now, the cosine function basically starts with positive 1, right? Moving from here one step up and then it comes down to 1, goes below to the axis and then goes back to the maximum. So one way will be kind of like this. Do you see that? Then again this is going to repeat. So in the second half I am again dividing this into four equal parts, right? So then from here to 0 to minimum middle value and the maximum, correct? So we'll have this wave, cosine wave, two cosine waves within 0 to 360. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how it is going to be. Now from here, we can find the points of intersection, right? So we are only interested in number of points of intersections, clear? So as you can see very clearly, there are two points of intersections, right? So that means we have two solutions. Therefore, number of roots is two. Is it clear? So which are points of intersection? Perfect. So that is how we can actually solve such a question. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.